Hey, what's going on everybody? Full Furniture today bringing y'all a Clash Mini video and in today's video I did have a couple people ask me about some different decks that weren't like Barbarian King, Archer Queen, or uh, Royal Champion, but we do have a Monk deck that I have been having a lot of fun playing and it actually works pretty well. So my Monk is currently level 6, so it's not anything crazy like my maxed out Barbarian King or my max out world champion but we're gonna hop into some matches with this uh and i'm gonna try to highlight some different plays whether we play versus um archer queen then i'll try to do a game versus barbarian king and a game versus uh shield maiden and uh ideally world champion so there will probably be four matchups in this video hopefully getting those in if it doesn't take us too long and if we happen to play max out uh, we'll see how it goes and I'll kind of talk my thought process through different things But if we end up just solely playing verse uh, Against heroes that are our level then it might not be the worst thing in the world and it looks like we're gonna lose this round one matchup So Archer actually targeted the guard which is why that went that way. Uh, so let's do Let me actually try to grab a miner here and we'll roll like this so I, as you can see there's four two elixir minis and then a pekka the reason i'm going with four two elixir minis and the um barbarian miner wizard is wizard is going to be really good against barbarian king right having that negate heal is super helpful and wizard is actually also pretty decent against archer queen mainly because of the fact that it will have the ability to have that longer range of effect and it's not being showcased right now but we'll hopefully catch up because now we're we have all of our units on the board so one thing i'm going to try to focus on here is we're going to switch these two just in case he decides to switch and then i want to go for my archer to target one additional target and we actually don't get the wizard i was really hoping to get the wizard right there but we'll go with the archer for level two um and let's switch these up with the P.E.K.K.A. in the middle. Hopefully the P.E.K.K.A. will be able to just aggro kind of whatever is being played. This guy also has a Electro Wizard now. But we do take that uh, down. Not the Electro Wizard, but we take everything else down pretty quickly. Okay, so that worked out really well. Uh, Clash Ability to start was able to help take the Ice Wizard down, which is really helpful. And so let's see what we can do here. I don't know if he's going to switch sides again. But, okay, so now I'm going to go with the wizard impacting a larger area. And then I think I'm going to go for the miner for cleave. Yeah, I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch. Hopefully it pays off. Okay, so we kind of spreads it out. So there wasn't really much I could do in that situation. But now I have backstab and cleave. So we'll be able to kill that e-wiz no problem. And we don't get the Mega Knight down, but he's not going to be able to get too much damage onto us. And we are going to be able to come back and tie this one up 2-2, two to two, so. If they have a lot of backline units, you can focus on leveling up the Miner. If they don't have a lot of backline units, I would focus on leveling up the um, Barbarian and Wizard. I'm actually going to go for the P.E.K.K.A. with the Clash just to have a little bit more sustainability. And then I'm going to go with the Barbarian level 2. If I was in this situation, probably versus the Barb King, I would probably want the Negate Healing. So he actually goes with the 2-star P.E.K.K.A. here, which is really interesting. We are going to be able to take the Archer Queen down pretty quickly. Monk's going to be able to get the shot off. We do take the Ewas down, and look at that. We get everything destroyed. So, GG, well played. We were down 2 0, but we were able to make that comeback. Um, yeah. And ha having the clash, the uh, shield ability for the P.E.K.K.A. is really nice. Okay, cool. So now we're going up against the Barb King. Uh, so let's throw the Miner right there. Uh, I don't want to play into his mirror tile in case he has the prince normally i'd try to like to space this out a little bit more uh let's actually go with the barbarian in the back in case that he does have that prince he does have the prince and he actually targets our minor side uh, but our barbarian's going to target the minor which is actually really nice 
Uh, we are going up against a level 10 Bard King, so let's see how this goes. First thing we're going to try to prioritize. He does take our Monk down, which is a pretty devastating shot because we needed the Peacemaker rolling through there, so. Okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine. Um, so he completely lined up uh, his Prince there. So he does have the Miner, so we know we want to play into that. I want to see if I can get a P.E.K.K.A. here. We do get the P.E.K.K.A., which is really nice. I don't know if he's going to play... He'll probably play Prince, in which case both my Miners might get killed here. Yep, both of my Miners are going to get killed here. And then his Miners is going to go straight to the back door and go for the takedown. So now what I really need to focus on is probably if our Mirror Tiles are lined up, don't play it in. So for this case, they are lined up, so we're not going to play it into it. We're going to stay away from it. He's probably going to try to force the other side. So I want to go for the Barbarian. Now I want to go for the Prevent Healing. And then I also want to have my Archer attack one additional unit. And then we're going to put the Archer a little bit further because I think he's going to continue to try to play this Miner. Yeah, so he completely misses right here. Uh, he does have the Miner coming in. Uh, we are going to lose our Barbarian, but look at the front line. His Barbarian King is going to go down, but uh, our Miner actually goes, or yeah. So we completely lose that front line, and I think it was because that second round, I played into his Prince, which let my Miner do absolutely nothing and get no backdoor capability. So that was a complete mistake on my part. going to leave it in the video as well, um, because I feel like that's really important to talk about. So in that specific matchup, what I would have done differently thinking about it now would be to if our mirror tiles were lined up I knew he had the prince and I wouldn't I should not have played my miner directly into his prince tile especially when they're that close because if the miner is uh if he if my miner is all the way in the back and he plays his prince on the front and it's that three tile spacing his prince will actually still hit my miner before the clash ability comes into effect so if it's ever, if they ever have a mirror tile in that situation and you know they have a prince, it's probably best not to play that miner. So that was a big mistake on my part. So like I said, that's going to stay in the video because I think that's going to be important to highlight. Um, so let's do this. I think we're in okay spot right now. I would like to have my wizard and let's go with this archer. And then next turn, we'll get the P.E.K.K.A. in here. Um, when I'm going up against Shieldman, ooh, he's got a... When I'm going up against Shield Maiden, I like to get the one and two star ability on the wizard. I like to have the burn effect because it's going to continuously damage the Shield Maiden even when it's hitting it. So that is one thing that I definitely like to have. Oh, the P.E.K.K.A is going for the Archer instead, um, which is really interesting. And this deck also has P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A., Monk, and Wizard with the burn effect are really strong counters uh, to the Shield Maiden. Let's see so we're gonna play into it like this I want to keep everything behind something because if he happens to line up his Prince uh, we're gonna get caught out here pretty bad so he does get this that's gonna stay on target our Pekka does get a critical hit in our wizard goes down Peacemaker is going to target the pony right there, and we are going to be able to take this archer down, which is very nice. So that'll be the second win for us. And let's see. He's keeping the prince on that side. So let's actually try... Let's try this. Um, we're going to level up the barbarian here. I'm going to level up the miner. And then I think I want to level up this Barbarian again. Just to try to take the Prince down a little bit quicker. Hopefully he doesn't Prince in the middle. He doesn't. He is going to Prince right towards our P.E.K.K.A. though. We do have the Miner going back. It is going to be able to get the Backstab onto the Archer. But the P.E.K.K.A. does get a critical shot through. And we're not able to take it down quick enough. No critical shot onto the Shield Maiden as well. Yikes. So he goes with the level 3 Archer there. And we weren't able to take it down because of the P.E.K.K.A. Okay, so let's try to switch this up. Uh, I want to see if we can get Cleave 
here. So I think we're going to go for Cleave. And then I'm going to go for the Clash ability. And then let's go for the three star right here. And I'm going to put the Barbarian here in case he goes with the Prince in this side. He doesn't go with the Prince on that side specifically. But he is going to target. And now we are going to be able to get some damage onto the Archer as well. That's going to be really good. We are able to take it down. And we get some good chip shots onto the Wizard. Pekka is going to take the care of the Pony. It's only the Wizard left alive. We are able to take that Pekka down. And then we take the Wizard out as well. So... That was really close. It really just came down to placement. And he just kept switching back and forth. So I knew um, after he just kept doing that, that I was going to switch miners. And I still have the archer. So even if he doesn't switch sides, not the complete end of the world. Because my he's, he was playing his barbarian and his P.E.K.K.A. in the back line. So his miner would actually come in and start to deal some damage. Or my miner would go in and he would aggro the P.E.K.K.A and the barbarian so it's actually not that bad if uh you're in a situation like that so uh we don't have a real champion matchup but i'm gonna stick with this one for the video and basically for real champion you want to it's really tough because you have so many cheap elixir units but you want to try to prioritize upgrading them as quickly as possible. Just getting them all to one star. Don't focus on getting two stars on one two elixir mini. Get them all to one star. Um, and I think that makes a huge difference. Uh, we get Miner here. Let's throw the Barbarian down as well. Let's keep this like this. And we'll throw the Archer in the back. If he has Prince... Which he doesn't. He's playing Healing Ranger. Which is very strange. We should be able to take those down. No healing is going to get off here. Archer is going to get quite a bit of damage. Going through. And this should be a quick 3-0. Let's do... Let's get the Archer upgrade. Uh, let's do the Clash ability for it as well. Let's keep that minor because he's not going to be able to line up if he does have Prince. And then I think I want to go for the Wizard Burn over time. Just to deal with the Shield Maiden up front. Because we're already up 2-0, so it's not going to make a huge difference. He also has that Dark Goblin, so we're getting a lot of damage with the Archer and the Miners going in. That's going to get the takedown, and the Burn effect is not really going to be able to do much, but the Barbarian gets that 2 damage in, and that is going to call it there. So, let, let's try one more. We'll see if we get a Royal Champion. If not, we'll play this. I know this is going to be a longer video. We do get a Barbarian King, though. Um, and it's not in the mirror, so if this is level 10, then I can show you how to play against the barbarian king i'm actually gonna go for the prevent enemy healing right away just to try to mitigate some of it we'll see how this goes um so he's actually a level four barb king which is fine um it doesn't have any healing so when we get back to the wizard we can take that off unless he has battle healer we can probably try to play it out and see if there's going to be a battle healer in play so we can leave it on there for the time being. And then we'll we'll figure it out after that. So let's go with the P.E.K.K.A. here. We're going to go with the Barbarian as well. Again, we're going to keep the healing onto the Wizard. Um, and I want to keep the Barbarian in the back to try to catch his Miner. Because I'd prefer to take his Miner down from the back. does go in with the miner and the barbarian does turn around actually okay so miner is going to get some decent damage onto our wizard but we are able to take it down boast not going to be able to save you there so that's going to be a quick 2-0 and it'll probably be a quick 3-0 as well um we'll just go with the archer upgrade here and then i want to get the barbarian upgrade so rage can stack infinitely um Let's do... We'll leave it like this for now. I don't really know what he's going to do with his miner. So we'll just leave it like this. It does have a giant skeleton. Our barbarian is not going to turn. 
he is actually going to take this one because our bar his barbarian turned and hit our miner. Our barbarian did not turn and hit his miner, so that was the difference in there. So it was good placement on his part. Let's see if we can try to change that up a little bit. Um, I want to try to... Let's do this because we know he's going to try to line this up. Let's go backstab onto the miner. And I, I hesitated way too much and I wasn't able to get an upgrade there, but this is actually going to be really good. Monk going to take down the giant skeleton. Our is going to go for the miner. His barbarian's getting a lot of damage because it has a big attack speed. And wow. Okay. So he's going to tie it up at two. So I kind of choked there because I didn't play two elixir and I probably would have just played this barbarian here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell this wizard because I know it's not going to be impactful at all. Um, and I don't have any rerolls left. Okay, so we're going to go with the clash for a short period of time. And then I'm just going to go with the heavy blade. We're going to get this P.E.K.K.A. up to level 2. Get it a little bit beefier because it's going to gain that extra hit points that we need it to. Miner is going to go for the archer which is going to be very clutch. Our Barbarian's going to come through and pummel him. Giant Skeleton Bomb's going to go off, but it's not going to be able to save him. Pekka did some really good damage on the backside, so a little close at the end there, um, just solely based on some small mistakes, but able to fix that, no problem. But So yeah, this is the Monk deck that I like to play. It works out really well. Um, it's hard against Prince on the mirror map. Again, just make sure you're not lining up your prince with anything because you do have like a small elixir minis. You're playing two elixir minis, and if a prince connects with them, it's it's going to deal a lot of damage. So uh, try to avoid that as much as possible. Just avoid the mirror tile because even if they don't play it, it's only targeting one unit instead of targeting two units. So you have a little bit of leeway. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know if you play this monk deck, what you think of it down in the comment section below. But I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe for more content. And don't forget to turn that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. Have a great night, everybody. We'll see you later. Peace out.